Hello and welcome to this podcast episode about the year 1908. This year was a fascinating time in history, with many significant events and developments taking place around the world. Let's start with some of the major news stories of 1908. In January, the Grand Canyon was designated as a national monument by President Theodore Roosevelt. This move helped to protect the stunning natural wonder from development and exploitation. In March, the famous British suffragette Emmeline Pankhurst founded the Women's Social and Political Union, which fought for women's right to vote in the UK. This was a major milestone in the ongoing struggle for women's rights, and it paved the way for the eventual granting of suffrage in 1918. In April, the Olympic Games were held in London, England. This was the fourth modern Olympic Games, and it was the first time that Japan participated. The Games were a great success, with many new records being set and some notable moments, such as the first time the marathon was run over, its current distance of 26 miles and 385 yards. Another notable event in 1908 was the Tunguska event, which took place on June 30 in Siberia, Russia. This was a massive explosion that is believed to have been caused by a meteor or comet. The blast was estimated to be equivalent to between 10 and 15 megatons of teen, and it flattened trees and destroyed buildings over an area of hundreds of square miles. In August, the Ford Model T was introduced to the public. This was a revolutionary automobile that was affordable and reliable, and it quickly became one of the most popular cars in the world. The Model T is often credited with helping to transform the United States into a car-centric society. In September, the first airplane flight in England was made by Samuel Cody. Cody flew a biplane over Laffin's Plain near Farnborough, covering a distance of 424 yards. This was a major milestone in the development of aviation, and it helped to pave the way for the many advances in flight that would follow in the coming years. On a more somber note, 1908 was also the year that the devastating Messina earthquake struck Italy. The quake, which measured 7.5 on the Richter scale, caused widespread destruction and loss of life, with estimates of the death toll ranging from 70,000 to 100,000 people. In the world of art and culture, 1908 was a significant year as well. The play The Cherry Orchard by Anton Chekhov premiered in Moscow, and it is now considered one of the greatest plays of the 20th century. The famous novel A Room with a View by E.M. Forster was also published in 1908, and it remains a beloved classic to this day. In the world of science, 1908 saw many important discoveries and breakthroughs. One of the most significant was the discovery of vitamin E by British biochemist Frederick Gowland Hopkins. Vitamin E is an essential nutrient that plays a vital role in human health, and its discovery helped to pave the way for many important advances in nutrition and medicine. In conclusion, the year 1908 was a time of great change and progress in many areas of human endeavor. From the Olympic Games in London to the introduction of the Ford Model T, from the founding of the Women's Social and Political Union, to the discovery of vitamin E, this year was full of important events and developments that helped to shape the world we live in today. Thank you for listening to this podcast, and we hope you have enjoyed learning about the year 1908.